Da -da -da. It's a new intro. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Russ. I am with uh, RWGResearch.com. Finally got my basement lab cleaned off a little bit. But today I've got some very important and cool information to share you. I don't really know if it's extremely important, but it is awfully cool and very good. And I'm very excited about it. So, here's what I got. For a very long time now, I've been working on this device right here. Maybe hard to see. I'll show you in a minute. It's the EPG. Stanley Meyer was the one working on that originally. And I've been trying to replicate it and I've been doing a lot of research. And um, <clears throat> some of the reasons I haven't done a lot of testing lately is because I'm trying to do research on exactly how I want to make this gas and make this EPG function correctly. So I've been doing a bunch of research. And in the process of over the last year or so, the, uh, a gentleman showed me a video. And this video is the PAP engine, P-A, I'm sorry, P-P-A-P engine, okay? It's basically a gas, it's a noble gas engine. It runs off noble gases using a plasma effect to excite the gases, creating a propulsion. Now, a couple of folks from this website, all right, Plasma ERG and company, all right, these people um, have been working on this, replicating what uh, this guy originally did, I think in the 80s or so, and um, they've gotten to the point where they are actually going to be selling licenses, which is pretty interesting. And in the process, anything that is what they call in public domain, they are actually going to be selling a kit, which is this kit right here, and they will provide you some of the coils. Um, here's the flyer. Well, it's not on that one. It's on this one. All right, here's the flyer, and it, it includes the information right there. I'll just let you read it. But basically, a couple of the coils, some of the modified spark plugs, and uh, hopefully the actual ignitions, which would be the high-voltage coils there, I guess. And um, hopefully, all right, we will actually be able to build this thing. Now... I'm pretty excited about this, and uh, it really does relate to this EPG here that I've been working on for a while. It's got similar properties to it, and um, last night I watched a video on YouTube that Sterling Allen posted and uh, about this kit. I sent uh, the link over to my buddy, uh, Echoes Pete, and uh, same gentleman who donated the money for the prizes, second and third place for the Pulse Motor build-off. Uh, same gentleman. I sent this to him and he says, let's build it, you know, let's do this thing. This is going to be awesome. So I am pretty excited about this. I actually already have, I want to show you guys this and document it. It's $350. They say you can build the entire thing for as little as 500 In my opinion, to get the gases and what we want and what we need to do it, I'm going to guess it's going to be $500 extra or so. But... Um, this experiment is going to show us exactly what uh, is interesting about these gases and hopefully help us along with the EPG. Um, so there is the money order. This is filled out and ready to be shipped. 8 12 is today. And uh, yes, so I have some uh, exciting things coming up. And I will be sharing everything I can from what I understand. This is all public domain therefore it will be open source um, hopefully it goes that way I do not see why it will not but those are the goals and uh, this is again another open source project because that's the way they need to be done um, <clears throat> the people are actually selling these licenses a lot of people are having conflicts with selling licenses because it'll be bought up and it'll be gone forever but I think in my in my opinion I think they're doing it right because they're, they're selling these kits so that the information is not lost and if someone would like to pursue it they've already patented it so you can't really do it that way but as individuals we can build these and use them in our own applications that alone is very important and we can use principles to uh, expand on other applications so I'm pretty excited and um, I hope you guys are too and uh, leave me a comment on this video um, you can go to my website rwgresearch.com um, I will be posting all the information uh, and everything I do on this project and all my projects. You can find those at open-source-energy.org. Those are the forums. You can go there and post all your guys' thoughts. I'll be keeping everything up to date there or trying my best to do so. Um, I'll get you a little bit closer up here. 
and so you have a little bit more information. The website, if you would like to go to it, is plasma e r well it's p l a s m e r g dot com. And if you click on the kits over here, you can see right there, you'll find this page with the order form. Um, the Tesla Tech Conference um, is actually where Sterling Allen is now, and he is uh, the one who posted the video. Um, Smart Scarecrow also did a little live demonstration, uh, live broadcast, which was really cool. But uh, I would eventually love to go to this conference, but it's the next best thing to watch Sterling Allen um, show us what's going on and, and others. The... Um, links I'll put in the description, but if you just give this a Google, um, I labeled it similar EPG gas because this was extremely interesting and very similar to the same principles that are that are needed to make this EPG function. And uh, in my opinion, I think we're going to learn a whole lot about what we need to do now. PAP engine, noble gas driver system. If you just Google that, you'll find it. But I will include the link in the description. So that is the happy time news. I am just super excited, and I cannot thank um, Echoes Pete, which is his little nickname. His name's Peter. And uh, I cannot thank him enough for um, wanting to do this. Me and him have been friends for a while. He's really got me in contact with great Peters, great people, such as Victor, which has uh, been a wonderful person to, to be in contact with and has helped me out on a few things. Um, so basically... I've got a lot of projects on my plate and I'm pursuing this one mainly because it really does have a lot to do with what I'm trying to do with the EPG and I'm going to uh, hopefully gain a lot of knowledge and this is going to be a really good project but like I said I have to thank Pete for actually funding this project he is fully funding this project all the gases any of the parts any of the, any of the supplies he has faith in what I can do and my abilities I have faith in my abilities and I think we can get this thing built. Um, either way, we will prove or disprove whether this device works. I don't see any reason why it won't work. I've done enough research with the EPG to understand a lot of what they're trying to do. It makes very good sense. So if you want to know any more information, Google it. There is that. Definitely watch this long video of uh, the one I have posted on my YouTube. Make sure you watch it because it's informative by people actually doing it way back when. And then there is a lot of information. If you go to their website here, you can click on videos. All right, and there's a bunch of leaks up here of actually putting the new style engine together and a little more description. So, um, you know, if you want to do some more research on it, you can definitely do that and see what you think. But I'm pretty excited using noble gases to do experiments to run a piston. Now, a lot of people also, real quickly, you know, this device is literally just a piston. And it just goes pop, 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 pop. That's why they call it the popper. All right. But the idea here is, is if I can understand this principle, we can definitely apply it to other things. And even though I'm not going to be able to, you know, license and sell such devices, I don't plan to do that. I don't ever plan to do such a type of thing. And that's for everyone else. I am a open thinker. And I just like to show what I do and uh, prove to the rest of the world that things can be done like this. Have a little faith, guys. I know we've been disappointed a lot in the past. And, uh, you know, that's okay. It's life. But I have good faith about this particular project. So, peace and love to you all. My name is Russ. I am with rwgresearch.com. And I hope you have a good day. See ya! Bye! Ah.